In Wooded Kingdom, there is a sub-area that is known as the Flooding Pipeway. It features a short 2D challenge with fuzzies and moving water. While this isn't the only area in the game with moving water, it is the only location where water sinks below the surface. From an outside perspective, this doesn't seem like a big deal. But this trait actually lets us break the game and clip out of bounds on all currently available versions. Before we get into the glitch, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Blip for finding it. So to get out of bounds, we have to wait until the water is sinking down from the ceiling. Once the water is sinking, we have to wait again until it's right at the tip of Mario's head. From there, we have to time a ground pound by tapping jump and then pressing the ground pound button immediately after. If done properly, this should push Mario under the ground with the water, clipping him out of bounds. While this does seem easy, there are some important things to note here if you want to be able to clip consistently. The first thing is the inputs and timing are the main challenge with this trick, so it can be difficult at first, but with a little bit of practice, it's relatively consistent. Also, when you're standing on a surface underwater, you cannot ground pound unless you cap throw or jump. This is why we jump before ground pounding when performing the clip. From my experience, holding the ground pound button for longer also seems to make the glitch easier and in some instances may even be necessary. Now that we've made it out of bounds, what's out here? How do things work? Well fortunately, because the water extends outwards, we can explore a bit. Moving ourselves away from the main area, we are able to regain full 3D control. We can move in front of or behind the sub area by doing this, though we can't go far. The water in this area is essentially a giant block, similar to the other moving water blocks in the game. Going too far forward, back, to either side, or even down will cause Mario to begin to fall and eventually hit a death plane. Upon further observation, the walls outside the sub area we can normally only see happen to have collision. So once we've crossed in front of them, we can't cross back without going back inbounds and performing the glitch again. Moving back towards the sub area will again revert our 3D movement into 2D and swimming anywhere in front of or behind the inbound section will suck us back in. Overall, observing this area from a new perspective out of bounds is pretty cool. We can get some entirely new views that we'd never be able to get playing the game normally, giving us interesting insights into the room's design. Hanging out in certain parts of the out of bounds area can also give us some interesting camera warping glitchiness that can be fun to play around with. And that's all you need to know about the flooding pipeway out of bounds. Have any questions? Just leave a comment and I'll try to answer. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.